Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Ham Radio Dude. And recently I've been receiving a lot of feedback. That feedback stating that, hey, I bought a certain radio and I have an aftermarket antenna. It just won't fit into the radio. What do I do? Today, that is what we will be discussing. We're going to talk about different types of connectors for your handy talkie radio and what to do if you don't have the right one. Let's get started. In this episode, I will make a couple of assumptions. And the first one being that when you watch this video, you need to know from the start everything about a connector. And we're gonna start then as you purchased your first radio, a Baofeng UB5R, for example. And what happens is, is you have the antenna and you have the radio. Well, the thing about the antenna and the radio is, is they're connected typically using uh, what they would call SMA ports. If you're curious about what SMA stands for, it stands for Subminiature Version A. It was created as a coaxial connector type in the 1960s, and it should be good for up to 18 gigahertz. And I say typically because most every, if not every modern day handy talkie radio, handy talkie radio will be a SMA connector. Now there's a SMA female and an SMA male port. So the SMA male goes into the SMA female. It's like high school class all over again. So for the demonstration purposes on the Spalfang UV5R, you have an SMA male port and it goes into an SMA female. Again, SMA male on the Baofeng, there's a pin sticking out. SMA female on the antenna, there's a hole inside. We have a few different radios here and here's the first scenario and we'll walk through it and we'll talk about it all. Your Baofeng radio, maybe you had an aftermarket antenna on it, and it was a UV5R and you had this Nagoya antenna or fake Nagoya antenna on here. Everything was good. You liked the distance on this thing. This thing did a really good job, but now you've upgraded to a more expensive radio. Maybe it's a Yezu, maybe it's another Baofeng because I've heard these are now shipping with SMA female ports. Now this one's an SMA male, but to mimic upgrading, we have this SMA female port on a Yezu radio. And then when we try to go plug in our aftermarket antenna, no such luck, you know, female to female, it doesn't fit. So we need a connector and there are a lot of connectors out there. We'll go over some of these here in just a second, but this connector will be an SMA male to male because the SMA female is on the radio and on the antenna. Let's go ahead and go back to the main screen here real quick. And as we're discussing using a connector that connects male to male, I want to make the note that this is kind of a, in my opinion, a poor solution. First of all, if you're buying an inexpensive radio like a Baofeng, maybe you don't want to buy the highest quality connectors and that's typically fine, but just know that these connectors might not last a long time depending on how poorly they were made, which means you'd have to buy more connectors. And realistically, you can go out and find yourself something like a Redivis antenna here which by the way, I made a contact at like 90 miles um, on two meters with this. So you figure out the math. But back to this here, this is a solution that I think over time, you're gonna see like there's a little swaying here. Part of it is because this antenna is maybe a little loose, but not really. There's a little swaying. And I think what's gonna happen is over time, it's gonna wear out the base on the SMA on the radio. So if you just bought yourself like a three or $400 radio, why would you kind of, why would you piece together something that's not going to work? But as a temporary solution, it'll work great. Uh, I would just, of course, recommend that you go out and you find some kind of antenna that fits nice on the radio. Again, you might spend $5 or $4 on an SMA connector to connect your old antenna, or you might just find that, hey, a $7 antenna might do you well. But what if you want to plug this into a different antenna. For example, you wanted to go your handy talkie radio up to a house antenna. Well, there's a solution for that as well. Now, let's suppose that the antenna that goes to your house was an antenna that was ran with what they call a PL259 cable. Sorry about that, PL259 connector. Well, in PL259, it's like this. PL stands for like, for example, plug and then 259 is a connector type. So maybe at the other end, it goes into the antenna, but here, you know, you're trying to get you know a radio in and that's obviously not gonna work. Don't even try that. 
But more importantly, what do you do? Well, you find yourself that connector that goes SMA. And in this case, you need an SMA male connector to go in here. So SMA male to SO or socket 239. Now you might be hearing PL-259 and SO-239 and hitting your head against a wall wondering why don't they just name them the same number and allegedly these were the original part numbers for the military. So PL-259 was a part number and SO-239 was a part number and they just kind of stuck. You have your SMA male that goes into your SO-239 and then you can plug your PL-259 into it which again goes out to your antenna or wherever it might go. And even with this, again, you're going to have a lot of weight and pressure on the base of this radio or this connector. And if you wanted to alleviate that a little bit, you could use something like, uh, in this case, this is SO239, but you could use like a PL259 to SMA mail uh, cable like you would see here. And I'll link one of those below as well. Hey, that connector I showed you just now, that was actually uh, a BNC connector, which is another type of connector. And what it is is... Typically you'll find them on police scanners and you'll find them in the form of BNC female because inside there's a hole. So if you wanted to, the same concept would apply. You can go BNC male because it has a little plug in the middle and you could screw it into your scanner and then you can go out to your antenna. The cable I thought I was showing you on video was this one here, which is again a SO239 because there's nothing in the middle but a hole and then that goes to SMA male. There's tons of different connectors. There's BNC connectors and everything like that too. My best suggestion for you is, is if this doesn't make sense or you know maybe there's a connector that we haven't talked about, just go to Google or Amazon and type in SMA connectors, SMA female connectors, SMA male connectors, and you'll get an idea of what, what there is out there. But there's pretty much an SMA adapter for everything. So with that, my best suggestion for you is, is if you have an antenna that doesn't fit into your current radio, I probably wouldn't get the connector if it's a permanent solution. I would probably just look for a new antenna. I'll link you some antennas below, but now you know you could use a connector if you needed to in some kind of dire situation. I'm Ham Radio, dude. Thanks for checking out the channel. I hope this helped you. It's 73.